What's up guys, Slingshot here bringing you probably my favorite game so far for 2015 and it is Dying Light. Now I'm a big big Walking Dead fan and I just love zombies in The Walking Dead and I thought this game would be the ultimate game to get obviously if you just want to bash some zombies. So Dying Light, this is it. Um, I'm basically going to give you guys my first impressions of the game so far. I've just finished a prologue and a couple of mini missions and so far I'm loving this game the graphics is definitely on point I mean as you can see the wind literally in the trees you can see the trees rustling in the wind um, that side as well and then there's like those things that's flying I don't know what is flying um, and yeah like this game is called dying light it's kind of almost going to dusk which means I need to find like a safe zone because if I don't find a safe zone then the zombies come out and then they basically just zap me up so um, like I said yeah the graphics is definitely on point it's probably uh, such a beautiful game as you can check there as well the light rays coming through um, where I'm at it's totally amazing um, now the whole thing with dying light is that these zombies they are literally everywhere I mean if you make a noise as you can see it's uh, they are getting quite aggressive if you make a noise then they will basically come after you um, and probably want to kill you so I'm just gonna jump across here and then run around one of the main things that I like about uh, dying light is definitely hello is uh, you can just bash people like that it's basically you the game kind of reminds me of Mirror's Edge, so I don't know if you guys remember Mirror's Edge with the whole parkour vibes, um, yeah definitely, look at that a burning zombie, obviously you do not want to cause too much, I have a flashlight, you do not want to cause, whoa, uh, something's hectic over there, you don't want to cause any disruptions because basically these guys will just come out and then they'll just take you out and stuff, so you just want to be very generous. Um, you have like firecrackers, let me just give you guys a demonstration. You throw firecrackers and then basically you cause noise and then the zombies, as you guys can see, the zombies will go towards that which gives you an advantage to escape without them attacking you. So there's a busy a firefighter, <laughs> kind of a zombie dude over there, where is he, there is he. Um, so yeah, like I said with Mirror's Edge the big thing with Mirror's Edge was the whole parkour vibes and um, I love the parkour in Mirror's Edge and this game is also epic with its parkour um, in the beginning I basically struggled, uh, I struggled to speak um, basically in the beginning I also struggled a bit with the I wonder what's going on there I struggled a bit with the controls I mean it was difficult for me to like jump up and stuff um, Snap this too, we can save this guy. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. Let's just bash and help this guy out. Nicely done. Let me catch my breath now. Oh, yeah, awesome. Get a reward. Um, so, like I was saying, the, the parkour vibes of this game was pretty difficult for me to get used to um, holding RP and stuff, but I figured it out and um, I'm loving at the fluidity of just jumping on things it's like look at that I mean it's so easy to just jump on hang on and literally you can climb and jump on anything that your heart desire well except if you break a bone or two then you then you're looking for <laughs> then you should be looking for like a medic um, or a medic kit which you'll need to craft so onto the controls like I said the fluidity of the game is pretty awesome um, I'm loving the controls it was difficult to get used to but now it's pretty much on point um, onto the whole crafting thing it reminded me of um, the last of us where you basically get different items and valuables and then craft parts and stuff so you get your normal equipped um, weapons I've got a nailed a uh, little thing over there, I've got a plane pipe, another plane pipe, and then a police pattern, and then a couple of other things, molotovs and all of those. Um, which is amazing, because you can also create and craft, and I love that about this game. Um, onto the blueprints, so basically during the game you find these little blueprints and stuff, and um, you can create all sorts of weapon accessories, uh, your medikit, your lock picks, and then, because obviously you have like chests and stuff, which you need to obviously um, open up and find 
sort of loot uh, firecrackers, molotovs, flares and stars and then you have the skill side of things you've got the survivor rank, your agility level and then your power level um, I'm like only level 3 so I've got a long way to go um, as you can see on the map um, the green is obviously my safe houses where I can store stuff and then sleep and rest um, this guy and I mean onto the gameplay onto the controls once again the fighting for this game is amazing I mean I can kick him like that and then kick him again oh, can't kick him there but kick him again but the best part is if you can aim with a cross air and you get a perfect shot and then you can literally take him out um, the arts content as you can see the dude is like busted and his head is off which is also amazing but you also do not want to cause too much racket because when you cause that racket um, the zombies will all come out and they won't be very friendly since it's almost uh, dying my light you will look into trouble um, yeah so like I said onto the controls it's fantastic uh, the one thing that I don't like about this game I'm sorry but there's none at the moment I'm loving the game uh, I can't fault at this moment I'll just give you guys some action here as I take out the zombie um, and then obviously you search and you find money and then you'll go for uh, different weapons and upgrades and stuff so the main thing is loot 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 find your stuff I don't know what homeboy is doing here he's just like chilling homeboy <laughs> Oh snap! <laughs> Me being a brave star, we just flipped up and I just bashed your head in. So like I said, sometimes it's not always good to be a brave star. So I'm busy finishing up this mission, Mother's Day. And um, I'm going back to the main safe house, obviously, when you finish the prologue and stuff. And when you enter your safe zone, um, there isn't like weapons and stuff. So, which you can use. Hey, we've got all the security guards over there. And then this guy over here. He actually <laughs> he actually looks like the dude from Mikasa, which is quite funny. So, um, the quartermaster, you can um, come like every now and then. Uh, and then you will have some items and stuff. I already claim my items, so I don't have much for this guy. So, let's go back up. And then we will see where we'll be doing and what we'll be doing next. Okay, so I'm back outside. I've got my next mission. And uh, yeah, let's show you guys some more gameplay action of Dying Light. So the question is, should you get this game? Should you get the digital game like ASAP, like now? Or should you wait for the physical disc when it comes out? Um... My thing is, if you love Dead Island, it's sort of like Dead Island in terms of zombies, but this game is on point with bashing them, with killing them, um, with everything that's got to do with zombies. This is probably the best zombie game I've ever played. And should you get it? I think you should get it. I think you should get it now if you love zombies, if you love this free roaming, um, then this is definitely the game that you should get. So I'm gonna show you some more gameplay and more gameplay, Crane here. and then um, yeah, you can also see for yourself if you definitely want to get this game or not. Um, I still need to try the co-op. Co-op looks amazing. I've seen a couple of videos online, and that is definitely my next um, thing that I would like to do with this game. But for now, let me just acknowledge, acknowledge, acknowledge. Just give you some more action, take you through the game a bit more, and then, uh, yeah, we will see what we'll be doing in our next videos. Okay, look for the airdrop, awesome. I think I have an upgrade. So we'll go to Survivor, so we have either elemental throwing stars, that sounds pretty amazing. Boosters, learn how to use plants, create boosters, ready to fight, nice. Better no, let's go with. Uh, nah, I don't need those stars yet. Let's. It's all about survival, survival of the fittest. Okay, so let's get out of here. 
Um, you also need to look for like a soft landing. Like that, which is amazing. You don't want to just drop immediately. And then as soon as you like drop immediately, then you are literally dead. There's also nice um, environmental things that you can do. To basically take out the uh, zombies. Homeboy just like... Or home girl just like fall through here with a one arm and bash that head in of yours. Wonderful. I mean, really now, you shouldn't be smoking in the first place. <laughs> oh, okay, let's keep on pushing on. Yeah, so you just gotta check on, keep on searching, keep on searching. If you hold the A button, it basically gives you like a sense of vibe. Um, to show you where the items are that you basically can look for and then craft new items so let's just let's see if I can give you a demo and see as you can see I pressed A um, it basically shows you the items and then we've got alcohol who's been drinking who's been drinking you shouldn't be drinking Okay, coffee is a valuable item, I've noticed that, so basically uh, you can go trade it off and then yeah, just use the torch man, trade it off and then we'll get some big bucks, I haven't gotten any, um, I haven't gotten any, how can I say, oh you can also crouch, another element, I haven't gotten any like weapons yet, I'm still sticking, got a nice slide over there. Um, I haven't gotten any... Okay, that guy's busy being attacked. Uh, yeah. this guy. Oh, snap! Oh, yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. You also gotta watch out for your stamina. Um, as soon as your stamina goes, then just take that guy out. And it's difficult to uh, fight, so I think as soon as I upgrade and stuff, then get some cash. As soon as I upgrade, then um, probably we'll have better stamina. Just double check if there's anything over there. Oh, I've just found my nuts. That is awesome. Oh, there's quite a bit of stuff in here so let's just open up have a bit of a look see if there's anything else there we go tin can anything else here let's check the fridge uh, the main thing as well with this game is that you gotta repair your items if you don't repair your items then you will lose it like a plank yeah, planks are not bad Okay, so let's keep on pushing on. Uh, as you can see on the map, there's a red house. The red house is basically safe zones. <laughs> that dude, what's happening? These guys are just falling all around. Um, basically safe zones and the safe zones, like I said, is where you can like restore and then just recuperate. Just bust out here. Yeah. Shouldn't be afraid of them. Shouldn't be afraid of them. I wish you guys could see me playing this in the beginning. Um, while I was playing it and getting used to the parkour and stuff. The funny thing is... I can just activate the light trap. The funny thing is... Um, I used to jump on my seat whenever I was going to be jumping. Oh, I boys here. She's breaking out. Uh, look for the airdrop. Okay. I need to obviously find the safe zone as well. Jade, I'm getting close to the drop zone. Good. Find some shelter and wait. Okay, there's a safe Most zone. Drop seem to fall exactly in that, area. Oh, that was a fantastic jump. Ooh, those canisters are amazing. Um, yeah. We'll show you when I can get an opportunity to use that just so I can start something here oh boy what are you doing? oh snap 
get out of here. Oh, snap. They are everywhere! Okay, let's get up here. Light trap. Uh, obviously, the higher you go, the better. Okay, it's amazing. You can just jump every freaking way. Yo! So those are everywhere. Gotcha. Oh, oh, oh. So I gotta repair my weapon. There we go. Nicely repaired. It's quite intense inside here. Yeah? It's quite intense. Just trying to secure the safe zone. Just seeing if there's any other items. There we go. Statue. I think that should be pretty valuable. Um, so I just need to take out this I'll power up a bit, but I have to take out these two guys on top, um, and then I basically own. See, like I still struggle a bit. I own the uh, safe zone, so we'll just do that now. Just so save a bit. It's better when he's down. So, nicely done. Cool. And basically that's it. I've got my safe zone unlocked. Um, I think that's it guys. I think you've seen a little bit of Dying Light. And I'm just giving you that view to end off this video. There's some birds over there. Um, you've seen it. If you like it, then buy it. This game is absolutely amazing. I can't wait to show you guys more videos. Um, if you want more videos, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, I will see you guys next time, same time, same place. From me, Slingshot, I'm out of here. Peace!